Welcome to our battery energy storage system site. OCU Group are currently in the process of the build of a BEST site, based in Ferrybridge. The site is situated in the place of the former cooling towers that were recently demolished. David Finn is the OCU Major Projects Director, working on the BEST site. To be fair, like the last year and a half, probably working on some of these big kind of exciting projects. The two battery projects have been the most exciting really. So this site here is 150 megawatt to our battery system. So this will um, obviously kind of provide 150 megawatt of energy for two hours into the grid, so in or out. So that will obviously provide balance to the systems or provide support to peak demands. The project essentially will provide the national grid with 300 megawatt hours of flexible capacity for two hour periods. The construction of a battery asset also supports the flexibility needed to help the UK get to net zero. Julian Reynolds started his career as an electrician and is now a project manager at OCU. It's a breath of fresh air to me, to be fair. Um, it's an interesting project. It's something I've been part of within the electrical industry for about 12 years. Sorry, just jumping in here, don't worry, they're not normal trainers. Did you know in this day and age you can get steel-toed footwear that is actually fashionable? Certainly in, uh, with the battery systems being new and innovative, so it's, it's quite interesting. There's a lot to get through. This was a former part of the power station known as the FGD plant. The plant was demolished um, to create way for the new battery battery energy storage system. So when we when we got here, we were left with the remnants of the demolition. So all of the uh, concrete foundations, etc., were still in the ground, which needed to be removed to to allow our design to work. So um, we've removed all those foundations, and then we're currently constructing all of the bases to site the um, the battery uh, storage cabinets and the ancillary equipment that goes with those and uh, a new transformer bay 132 kV transformer bay along with a switch house and two uh, auxiliary transformer bays At OCU, we pride ourselves on the measures we take to prevent any accidents from happening on our sites. Barry Wilkinson is a regional SHEC advisor at Ferrybridge and has been with the company since August this year. He has such an interesting life story to tell. In terms of like your background, could you go into a little bit more detail? Because I know you were telling me earlier yeah, about uh, how you was a bodyguard. Yeah, I served in a, a cavalry regiment in, in the British Army, uh, 1904 Lancers. Ended up being a staff sergeant and detachment commander. Uh, I did one tour of Iraq and two back-to-back -back tours of Afghanistan. Um, I left there, uh, did my Nibosh construction, because uh, I'd previously been a bricklayer when I was a younger uh, lad. Went to work out in the oil and gas industry in Iraq. Got contacted by an old major I was in Afghanistan with who became a country manager over there for Arden Energy Services. So worked uh, in the Ramallah Desert um, on work over and drilling rigs in, in Iraq. Uh, doing health and safety and security um, and then I moved up to um, Kurdistan in North Iraq and did the same there in the Komar gas and oil fields uh, ensuring the safety of, uh, and security of the expats British, Canadian, Australian and make sure they got round and about from the oil fields to Erbil and Suleymaniyah airports then built a bottling uh, plant for Guinness in Lagos, Nigeria in uh, 2018 uh, returned to the UK ended up working uh, security at Wimbledon I then met a nice gentleman, Michael Cohen, who turned out to be Shane Warne, the uh, Aussie cricket player's uh, uh, agent, uh, and got the great job of looking after him, uh, doing his UK uh, tour of uh, his autobiography, uh, No Spin. Starting off with the Oval in Surrey, and then ended up all over the UK. And here you are. And here I am now, yeah, settled back down into a health and safety role. And, uh, and like I say, looking forward now to uh, retirement now with, uh, with OCU. This is the Ferrybridge uh, Best Site Battery Energy Storage System. Okay, so as you see at the moment, we're just uh, finished cropping the piles. The guys are blinding the ground and getting everything ready for the uh, big concrete plinths, which have been made off-site. They will be coming tomorrow, 16, uh, and then they'll start putting the concrete plinths in. After that, we'll, we'll start putting some uh, steel beams in, some RSJs, Royal Steel Joists, on top of the steels. And then February next year, we'll be looking at getting the containers, which are coming in through Hull. Um, and then the site will have a massive difference in, uh, in contrast then. As mentioned, Barry is in charge of health and safety on the site. 
Initially, site induction like I've done with yourselves, obviously inform you about the site and everything, hazards, risks, uh, make sure you have full hazard perception of what's on site. Um, and then once you're happy, any questions, and then I'll get you to sign on the induction forms like you've done to so say you fully understand um, everything what's going on. Um, toolbox talks, I try to do one or two a week if I can. Some, if I can squeeze a few more in, I will do. Um, so that's very important, keeping lads up to date about what's happening uh, and what's you know imperative on the site at, at that particular time. Um, liaising with SSE uh, and, and, and there and taking any, any sort of direction and supervision off them, what we need to be on with. Um, and then obviously just going on site like I'm doing now, ensuring that everybody's wearing full PPE, five point PPE helmet, glasses, coveralls, gloves and safety boots, air defence where necessary which isn't uh, required today um, and then just general um, promoting a positive health and safety culture within the company and on the site. I've, I noticed like on our little kind of site walk it's so neat and like tidy and nothing's really out of place. How important is it that it's like that on our sites? It, it should be like that on every site. That's what we. Those are the standards that we set out to achieve from day one when we walked on this site. Major Projects Director David Finn spoke to us about how companies within the OCU portfolio are also involved in the Ferry Bridge project. We're the BOP EPC contractor for SSE Renewables, so we're the principal contractor and principal designer, so we're responsible for, for, the, for, for the design and construction and commissioning of the, the site. We've obviously, as part of our acquisitions, we've acquired a number of companies, so for instance, Andrews Associates are our civil designers for this project, so that all of that work is kind of carried out in-house, so Andrews Associates have done all of the civil and structural design. And then we've had a few consultants and partners along the way doing the electrical and systems designs as well, so we're kind of taking it from a concept design through to a detailed design and then obviously constructing it. OCU Hornville and Integrum are also supporting us on the Ferry Bridge project, providing electrical installation and commissioning support. And finally, we as a company remain committed to looking after the environment and achieving net zero. How are we more sustainable? Um, so obviously, uh, I suppose from even the site level at the moment, our temporary power to generate a office supplies are powered by an electric pod as well. So that's a battery, a small little battery pod as well, which obviously reduces the need for a diesel generator to run. So we have that and then obviously within the site we've recycled nearly 6,000 cube of concrete. So that's all been crushed, recycled and used as, as backfill in for the piling mats. So we've obviously done that. All of the container foundations are cast off site as well. So that obviously reduces your carbon footprint and reduces the, the works on site as well. All this energy is stored from um, from this power station, from a, uh, the power station that feeds these these batteries, is is basically a recycling station. So it's um, that's also green energy. Um, but there will be wind farms and solar farms that input into these battery systems. So again, it's just it's all connected together. Mm -hmm.